Hi everyone. Um, sorry I haven't done any new videos or posted anything in a long time. Seems like uh, work and health and life are just kind of conspiring to keep me from getting in the habit um, and developing some kind of routine around this. Um, but I keep thinking I will improve on that. So um, I got home this evening and had some time. I thought I would do a quick review of the Buxom um, lip polishes and I did kind of pull some information up on from the website because I wanted to be sure I was giving you the right names of the the particular colors the print on this is so small that unless I have a magnifying glass of you know uh, the kind that might be used in a in a lab looking for small microbes I would not be able to read what the names of these are so I pulled that info up so that I could pro you know give you the right names on this but it came in a little package of four and they called it Buxom Chronicles and um, I was looking to see what the price was again I bought it at Sephora and it was $28 for all four products so they look <laughs> well they would look like that if I would put all of them facing the same direction let's try this again okay they look like that and the four names of them are um, Violetta, which is a what they're describing as a fuchsia berry color. That would be this one. There is um, another one that has quite a bit of shimmer. Not a lot of shimmer. It's just more shimmery than the other two. And that is called Trixie. It looks like this. Um, the one called Katie, um, they're describing as a pale pink. Uh, let's be sure I got this right. Oh my gosh. It should not be this hard to look at um, something. Okay. This one is Trixie. I think I held up the wrong one for you. This one is called Katie. And as you can see, it's quite a bit lighter. Okay, and then the other one is called Dolly, and it's that term. Now, what I have on right now actually is Dolly. It's probably the one I wear most often. Um, I don't have any lipstick on under it, so, you know, this is just the gloss on my lips. Um, I really like this product. It is have It does claim to have some plumping action. I don't know if it actually plumps your lips or not. It has a tingling feeling that would, you know, imply to you that you're getting some plumping action out of it. But, I, you know, I, I'm i a little skeptical about how much plumping can be done without a, uh, you know, plastic surgeon or something. So I don't look for much result in the plumping department. Um and the amount of tingle that you get on this really is not, you know, anything disturbing or distressing. I, a long time ago, I used some sort of um, gloss that, that purported to do plump your lips. And, I, and, and the tingling almost border, bordered on burning, for crying out loud. It was a very um, annoying feeling. Um, this seems to you know just be a light tingle and it actually seems not to dissipate that much over you know time I mean it you're aware of it um, periodically for for some time after you apply it which I think is very interesting I also think for a gloss it lasts a pretty long time I applied this in the morning before work I think I very lightly touched it up on my way to a meeting about mid-afternoon and I put a little bit more on when I was about to do this typically I would not do that um, but um, it's now after six o'clock and um, like I said I've touched this up twice so I don't think that's bad at all and again uh, at no point during the day did I have it over lipstick I have worn it over lipstick and I think it looks really nice over like some nude or maybe a soft pink or something like that but um, quite often I just put it on with no lipstick at all I did swatch some of these colors, so hopefully I can give you a little sense of, of what these look like. Let's see, let's start here. 
This is the one that they're calling Violetta. It's the one that's got a little shimmer. The one next to it is... <laughs> the one next to it is Trixie. The one next to that is Katie. And the one next to that is Dolly. So I don't know if that gives you any sense of, you know, the variances of color. I think if you look, these two are the ones that are supposed to be the most shimmer. And as you can see, they're not tremendously more shimmery than if I could put my hand in such a way that you could see it, you'll be dizzy trying to follow this. Um, they're not tremendously more shimmery than the other two. So, you know, I don't think that that's something that, you know, would be a... Uh, disadvantage or or something if you weren't a big shimmer fan I just haven't worn these two colors I think because they're a little bit deeper I did wear this one and I really liked it I just haven't worn them as much as I've worn these so um, I hope that gives you a little you know, I don't know if it gives you very much information about this at all these are these are a little smaller than many of the other lip glosses that I see um, but I mean, for me, this would last quite some time. Um, so I would probably repurchase this. I like the way they feel on my lips. They're not ridiculously sticky. I think that they have la they last a pretty long time for a gloss. I think you don't have to reapply them constantly. So I see that as a plus. Um, the tingling sensation is, you know, not annoying in any way so I don't see that as as a problem and they don't have a lot of fragrance to them it's got a little bit of um each one of them smells a little sweet a little candy like um but it's not really strong and once I mean if you're not just holding it up to your nose so that you can tell whether it has a fragrance for me it's not a noticeable thing so once you put it on it and you're done with it and I don't really notice that it you know the fragrance that much um, so would I purchase this again absolutely I would purchase this again it's my first time to purchase any product from Buxom and um, you know I, I like I like this so I would probably look at some of their other products to see if I, I like this as well I hope this is of some interest to someone and that, you know, if you have not tried the product, maybe you would, you know, have some more information to make a decision from. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I will try to be more reliable as a contributor here. And if you've got comments, please leave them below. Um, if you have some particular something that you'd like me to um, post on, let me know that as well. And I hope you'll consider subscribing. And I hope you're having a really good day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.